Yo, what up guys, Brennan just 2 a camera bright coming to share this new video, and in today's video, I am taking you guys with me to the gym to go through my quad workout. But first, I must fill up my water bottle. Oh no, but not, not the cherries. Not the more, not the cherries. I love cherries. I can go through, I, when I was a little kid, I used to go through a whole jar of cherries. I could go through a whole jar in one sitting. Okay. Focus. Okay, here I am. My 64 ounce Hydro Flask bottle. Brita. If you don't have a... I just spilled the water all over the floor. If you don't have a Brita, you definitely need to get one because they're amazing. They filter their water. You can just put regular sink water or tap water in and it'll filter it for you. And this one's really nice because... I don't know what size this is, but it it can fill it up fully. Like I also have like the smaller one, but even a full one of the smaller Brita doesn't fill up my water bottle. So this one can fill it up. Even if this Brita is only like halfway full, it can fill up this whole water bottle. So. Brita's are very clutch. Put that back in the fridge. And then whatever is left in this bread, I'll use later for my creatine. So that's the water. And then I'm also taking these. They're fat loss pills by Gaines Candy. They basically enhance like what you already do. So you already burn a bunch. If you already burn a bunch of calories while you work out, it just like enhances that and makes you helps you burn even more. Therefore, resulting in fat and weight loss. So I take one of those before my workout, and now I'm ready to go to the gym. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am starting off with goblet squats right now because I usually do hot squats, but both the hot squat machines are currently taken. So gotta go with what you gotta do with what you got. So I'm starting off with goblet squats with this 25 pound plate, and I am gonna go till failure. I'm starting off with 70 pounds. And I see. Also, remember to stretch before you work out. Very important. I did stretch. I just didn't record it. So I'm all stretched, limbered up, and now I can get to work. Oh god. Oh brother. Oh, I can feel it already. Well that's good. It's good that you can feel it already. Oh alright boys. First set I did 70, which I still am doing. First set I did 70, which I'm still doing 70 right now. I did it for I think 19 or 20 sets. So now we're just going on this is my fourth set. I did two working sets in between to failure. And now my fourth one. I now have my lifting belt on. So we'll see how many we can do. You know, if you want to record it again, go ahead and do it. People may look at you funny and judge you, but you can't let people judge you. Do not let people judge you and have their, what they think of you, get into your head. Because once you do that, it messes with your mindset badly. Just do whatever you want to do. If you want to film, film. And don't care what other people say. Now, if they come up to you and ask that they say they don't want to be filmed, then probably don't film them or blow their face out. But if nobody's going to come up to you and say that they're bothered, then just go ahead and film. Don't worry what other people have to think about you because... They're not you. Oh my god. 
bad Siri. I don't want to talk. Oh god. Eight. Oh, flitch. Here. Oh god. I'm just gonna beat you right now. to go to walk tomorrow. Oh, God. Whew. Whew. Oh, my heart is beating. I grew up having asthma. It used to be really bad, but where I had to carry the inhaler with me at all times. And it's done away as I got older, but there's points where like, it feels like it tones back a little. Typically during the springtime with pollen, there's some, um, like sometimes the pollen messes with my allergies and makes my asthma act up. But I feel like my allergies with pollen like 50-50. Sometimes it is really bad and then sometimes it doesn't affect me at all. Fun story, funny story by the way. When I was in like third grade, we were out on the playground having fun. I was with my best friend Nick. And we were playing like kickball or something. And when we went to go sit down, and I was like, I can't breathe, like, I couldn't talk. I was, my asthma was so bad, I couldn't even talk. I couldn't get words out of my mouth. So Nick, being my best friend, goes up to a teacher, some old grumpy lady, goes, my friend's having an asthma attack, he needs to the nurse, and she goes, she legit tells him, he can, he can speak up for himself, as I'm over here dying, not even able to catch a breath let alone form a sentence, let alone get a single word out. Lily couldn't even get a single word out, and she expected me to get a whole ass fucking essay to explain why I needed to go to the nurse to get my inhaler. I think I ultimately did go to the nurse and get my inhaler, but I think we went to like a different teacher, because the old grumpy one wouldn't let me go to the nurse, because I couldn't speak out in one bone, and it was my wrist, because I did football. We're doing sprints backwards. I tripped on my shoelace, put my hand out to brace myself, and my wrist snapped. And I had a broken wrist. I was in a cast for like two months. And then I had to wear a wrist brace for probably a couple months after that. I remember when I broke my wrist, the doctor was like, yeah, he's probably not going to be able to play video games with this cast on. And my dad was like, oh, come on, no more video games. Guess what I did? Went home, played NCAA football career mode with the cast, ended up winning the Heisman as a quarterback. So, I was able to play with the cast on and win the Heisman on NCAA Road to Glory. <laughs> Speaking of NCAA Road to Glory, comes back in like a year or two and I'm so excited. That was my favorite game growing up. Doing Road to Glories and creating my own player, winning the Heisman, winning national championships with A&M. Best feeling ever. I started looking at 165, aiming for 12, going to failure. The person before me that used this machine had it stacked out all the way to the bottom and had the 10 extra pounds. The bottom weight's 295. That dude was doing 305. 305. 
my quads would literally explode. I literally wouldn't even want to move. Like whenever I do this, they would just not even budge. And this dude is probably repping it out. He was huge though. Makes sense. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. Being able to hold on and still do them is the hardest part. Like the hardest part isn't even actual isn't even the actual leg raises and the knee raises. The hardest part is holding on for dear life. The first the second set I had to hop down and then get back up to the knee raises. The first time I was able to do both of them back to back. I don't know man, my grip. Whenever you you're literally hanging. Just hanging on a bar is hard enough as it is. And then adding leg raises and oblique knee raises into that and trying to do it with no rest in between, doing leg raises straight to obliques. Oh my gosh, excuse me. I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna see if I can. One. Two. All right, guys, that was the end of my quad workout. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And now I'm just home. I have my creatine shake right here, which is, um, it focuses. Focus. Okay. Uh, why aren't you focusing? Why is my camera not focusing? Well, my creatine, I got my creatine, which is superimposed from Alpha Line. It's kind of candy flavored. And then my protein shake right here, which is also, also Alpha Line. It's a peppermint fudge brownie. And then I got my post-workout meal, chicken, broccoli, and rice, old reliable, Arizona tea, amazing. So, yeah, I'm going to go drink and eat this stuff, and that's the end of my workout. That was my quad day. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.